Hello everyone, my name is Isabel Gonzalez and this is my final art analysis. The artist that I decided to focus on is an artist that has not been yet mentioned in our course. Her name is Monica Mayer. She lives and works in Mexico City. Monica Mayer is a feminist artist who advocates feminist ideologies through channels outside of her practice. Monica is an artist who enjoys doing research on women's art writing about them and protesting for other women artists and women in general. Over the years, she has developed an important focus not only on her performances, drawings, and interventions, but also in her artistic contribution through writing, teaching, archiving, and active participation in the community. Since the start of her career, Mayer has expressed disagreement with traditional definitions of art. Her restless spirit, criticism, and sense of humor can be seen throughout her work. The piece of art that I chose to analyze in depth is Si tienes dudas, pregunte, which in English is, when in doubt, ask. This exhibition was inaugurated at the University Museum of Contemporary Art at the National Autonomous University of Mexico on February 6, 2016. This exhibition was retrospective and is originally from a performance called Performance Parasito. Si tienes dudas, pregunte, underlines that the artistic phenomenon is nothing more than just a production of objects, but everything that happens with the public, institutions, and to create this bridge between the public and artists. And it is aimed at an audience that gave it. Si tienes dudas, pregunta features Mayer's work as a comprehensive and multidisciplinary phenomenon based on the constant swinging between individual and collective work. In reflective dialogue with her personal and social backgrounds, this establishing itself as an alternative to the control artistic system. Meanwhile, reinforcing her influence as a recurring figure in the field of Mexican contemporary art. The Retro Collective exhibit is a conceived as part of an introductory segment in three main sections, dealing with the basis of feminist art and relationship between the personal realm with aesthetic and political issues in Mayer's work, presenting the artwork in, in a dialogic manner in relation to many different audiences and social political backgrounds. The first half of the exhibition title derived from an ongoing public intervention in which Mayer inserted herself into an already occurring performance by another artist. She stood near the action holding a sign reading, When in doubt, ask. This prompt served as a guide for the entire exhibition as the show rested on the platforms of interactivity and education. A recipe for viewing a feminist art exhibition was positioned at the entrance to the galleries and instructed visitors to interact with the materials through line of inquiry. The use of the prompt was an over overarching strategy that Mayer had implied since 1970s, and the exhibition made clear that the creation of spaces for dialogue and expression is a primary concern for Mayer. The second half of the title, which designated the exhibition a retro collective, as proposed by the Argentinian art historian Maria Laura Rosa, turned the Western concept of the retrospective on its head, seeking to reveal and configure structures of power from museums to large socio-political spheres. The exhibition took a loosely chronicle approach to the vast array of work, but was ultimately reliant on specific themes such as feminism, motherhood, marriage, and the relationship between the personal and political as organizing principles. It symbolically began and ended with an installation in the corridor outside of the gallery space, El Tendero, the clothesline, which started from 1978, 1979, and 2009 a project that spans nearly the entire entirety of Mayer's career. The first version of the clothesline for the exhibition, Nuevas Tendencias, at the Museo de Arte Moderna in 1978, was one of the earliest institutional interventions in Mexico to so directly engage with the everyday experiences of women in society. Mayer 
responses from women to the prompt as a woman the thing I detest about the city the most is and the participants wrote in their answers on a note card that were pinned to an improvised clothesline a symbol of what is traditionally identified as belonging to the woman's spear the response revealed and persuasive violence women experience on city streets and even at home a new installation of the clothesline created specifically for this exhibition asked women questions about their first experience with sexual harassment. This contemporary clothesline revealed that not much has changed over the last few decades of this violence persists at an alarming rate. Many answers revealed that such traumas tragically begin at a very early age. Many describe physical molestation and verbal harassment beginning in primary school. My analysis is, it is indeed a very oriented work, thinking of the public as the title donates, and in that sense, both Monica as a person and her performative character is not. Her work draws a lot of attention to the public in terms of a dynamic with very everyday things, with very vital things that public experiences both men and women, and in that sense, I think it is a work that has a lot, we could say, success or a lot of attachment interest for the public. The, the relationship with the public is so wide and extended, there has never been any problem because her work hasn't always just been in museum. It's been in the streets and in public interacting with people. Monica enjoyed giving that space to people to talk. That is what is the moving part. Most of the artwork comes from Mayer's own collection and from private and institutional collections in Mexico. Reactivation of some of the conceptual art pieces emphasizes its continuous relevance, as well as displaying performances and other activities in the museum rooms and in other spheres of the city are among the activities planned to take place during the time of the exhibition. My analysis on Monica's work and the specific piece is all on the positive and inspiring side. She really comes from a caring and loving persona and tries to advocate for a lot of important things that needed to be heard about and spoken upon. I mostly appreciate her work is always directly connected with actual people, her interaction with people in public. It is what she surrounds her work with and how she starts her pieces. The way she comes off to as a person is always something that seems to be very well and connected to have so much people trust and be comfortable around her work and the purpose of what she does. Here are some social questions to think about and that I think Monica Mayer's work raised to the public and also some of the questions I, see, I thought of when seeing her work. What patterns of oppression is being seen throughout the city? What are some cross-cultural challenges to feminism? How can an exhibition accurately render the complicated biographies of artists like Mayer without forcing them to fit an art historical narrative? 